our lives have been forever changed. You tell me how you're feeling. You said physically you're okay, but mentally it's really difficult. Yeah. How's your mom doing? Yeah. Um, she's struggling. Um, it's just been very traumatic for all of us. That's that's for sure. We can't. She's struggling. This is Kelly. Um, oh, hi, Kelly. Um, we can't gather as a family. My other two daughters cannot be with us. My mom's siblings, nieces, nephews, friends are unable to show any kind of support and compassion short of social media, phone and text. This is like watching a huge winter storm roll in on the weather channel and wondering how you, you, you prepare for it. You wonder how long it's gonna last, how long you have to hunker down and then pray that you're able to dig yourself out of it afterwards with what's left. Do you think you're gonna be able to? Um, I have no doubt that we will um, dig out from this, but our lives have been forever changed. And if there's anything that our story is able to tell other people, it's to stay home, stay away from other people, pay attention to the social distancing, hunker down. You don't know who's caring, who's been around somebody who's caring. And if we're able to save one other family from the trauma that we are feeling, then that's the only silver lining in this for me. <laughs> you're being very clear. I mean, take this seriously. Don't mess around. Don't think you're invincible. invincible. Stay home. Please stay home. Kelly and Katie, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about what you're going through and um, we thank you for coming on and, and helping get the message out because I, we don't want the rest of the country to have to to have to deal with this. It is it is again we use this word too much unimaginable. But what you're going through is unimaginable. Good luck. Be safe. 